Do you, do you like his teeth? Tom Cruise? Yeah. <laughs> Does he have new teeth? No, I just... His He's teeth, shooting a movie in space right now, by the way. His teeth just bother me. I don't know what it is. Are they too what? long? He fixed them. He fixed them? Yeah. Have yeah. you... Don't remember when he was a kid? Oh, like <laughs> t 1981. You know when you join Scientology, they yeah. give you new teeth. They do? Yeah, they give you new teeth. That was his... That that that, that image on the left is fake. That's a... I'm doctored. His teeth are doctored for that role. It's not what his teeth look like. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Him and, uh, no, he had normal teeth. I think he just got braces. They look like my teeth. Let me see. Your teeth look great. You have great teeth. I got to get good at teeth, dude. <laughs> I, I so like many, your teeth. I have so many chips and chunks, and my teeth are so messed up. I Yo, like it though. Why didn't you get them fixed? I I kind of don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, it's have like you a ever beaver? Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's like, you it's like a, a vampire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen? Uh, look at look at Will Ferrell's uh, teeth. You want to see fun teeth? His bottom teeth. I always notice because you know your bottom teeth start to grow together. Yeah. Yeah. Look at look at those bottom. Yeah, oh wow! Funny. I love that dude. <laughs> Rocky Mountain High. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that the Appalachians? Whoa, dude. But I've always noticed that he didn't do anything to the bottom teeth, so mine are going to get that way. Well, too. at least, you know what, dude? At least, at least bleach them. No, I think, it I think let them go. Who cares? Yeah. Let me ask you something. I, it's so funny. He's so he's so cool and funny that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, no, but, but I do think I do want to get them done. I do want to get something done. I've gone a few times. I need to get them like... I need to get certain ones fixed out because I have chips in all my teeth over the years. I, I think I chip the my chips look good though. Yeah. They're like a character trait. I know, but it looks bad on camera. I've never. Whoa! Who is that? <laughs> Anthony <laughs> Davis. Anthony Davis. Yeah. Before, wow. When he was a rookie. Yeah, he got him fixed though, right? Of course. Yeah. That's nuts. That's but his eyebrow remains. Yes. You got to keep the you got to keep the unibrow. Oh yeah, branding. There's something about unibrows that for some reason, it's like when you're a kid, you make fun of it, and then you see it with an adult, and you're like. I kind of like it. I don't know why. Interesting. The Frida Kahlo of it all. Mm. I like it. It's something cool. It's like yeah. such his face. Yeah, it looks cool. I used to shave between my eyebrows with a razor. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> when I was a kid, mine would grow in pretty heavily. Yeah, yeah. And which is funny because it doesn't grow in at all anymore. Like I pluck it sometimes, you know, like but rarely. Yeah. But when I was like in high school and my my the, the puberty was like at full mass and I was growing tons of facial hair. I would have to shave. I would use a, a razor to shave in between my unibrow because I didn't know about plucking. I was embarrassed to ask my mom or dad about it. Mm. So I would get a face razor, and my mom was like, "Why do you want new face razors? You don't even shave. You don't even shave your face." <laughs> yeah. I'm like, "Yes, I do. I trim it up." <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, I used uh. to shave between my eyebrows. Yeah, those are those things when you're a kid, like no one tells you, so you're not going to ask anybody. Yeah, you're so self conscious. It's like I, I was like. Mom, can I get Cavaricis? You know what I mean? And they're like, no Cavaricis, you know? <laughs> yeah, right, right. For you. And then one day they just, we were at Nordstrom's. And she bought and it. And I was, yeah, because I just begged and begged. And I wore them for a year and I just never wore them again. Nordstrom was nice. Your mom took you to Nordstrom's. Yeah, break, band dancing, you know, the break dancing yeah. pants? Oh, yeah. Did you buy those? No. Uh, well, you didn't break dance? I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, but I had to use Adidas track pants. Just... <laughs> we, didn't oh, really? we didn't have it like you, dog. Yeah. We didn't go to fucking Nordstrom's. We went to we went to like Marshall's. Yeah. Marshall's was like... That's good. No, it's not. <laughs> I know, it's terrible. Or we'd go to like... Uh, what was the other one? JC Penny. No, what was... There was one more like with a K, like Cole, Not Coles, but there was another one. I feel like there was one more that I can't remember the name of. We'd go to Nordstrom's sometimes, but my mom would go to Nordstrom's when I know she needed something nice. Mm-hmm. And if she went to Bloomingdale's, downtown Chicago, I was like, "Would that's, she's, I mean, that's like, would she buying a Ferrari? <laughs> In my mind, I was like, Bloomingdale, when she had the little brown bag, yeah, yeah. I was like, whoa, my mom bought something like real <laughs> yeah. nice from the store. Did you do, um, um, before school started, you know, at the end of summer, did you go school shopping for clothes? Yeah, we did. My, my parents would do that. We did, but I would use, but see, I didn't go to department stores much uh, because I didn't like the clothes. I wanted to go to like, uh, a skate store or I would go to I'd go to like one store and buy all the stuff uh, I wasn't good at I'm still to this day I told you that story I went to I went to the I took out money because I was like I need jeans this is like two years ago <laughs> and I was like you gotta buy new jeans dude you just gotta go get new jeans and I took out a thousand dollars cash or something like that I don't even remember how much I had I took out a bunch of cash and I was like you gotta just go get a couple pieces of clothing and I walked into the store and I saw someone that I knew personally mm. and I turned around and left <laughs> <laughs> Really? I immediately got in my car and went home. Yeah. I don't like Why? shopping. Why? It just gives me a lot of anxiety. 
So I you don't, don't go to you don't like going to the dressing not the dressing room or whatever and do try things on. That makes me so and sad. And they come out from the mirror. I always do like pose. I know. <laughs> I really do. I, I do know. it like this. This is one. You know, you know, I do this. I think because I kind of like I, you ha I have this like I hate myself a little bit when I shop because I don't want to. I, I don't like you know if I'm I don't like the way my body feels that day. Ah. Uh, so I'm like a chick. Yeah. I'll like get in the mirror and be like, "Fuck these fucking clothes. Fuck this shit. Bullshit." Mm -hmm. And I'll just leave. I'll get mad about it. <laughs> You're like an old school dad, though. I just have insecurities about clothes. I don't like it. I never like so I don't like going to shop and uh, it's not my thing. It doesn't. I do not like to go to a store and be like. I want this and this and this. Well, how'd you get the hat and the show? What the fuck happened? What do you mean? This is just a t-shirt from Kith. I ordered it on the internet. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah, and this okay. hat was also bought online. Oh, wow, that's interesting to me. I can't go into a store. I don't like going to stores and shopping. It bothers me so much. I don't know what it is, but it gives me like an uneasy feeling in my chest. That's with all, like if you buy spoons. <laughs> yeah, spoons freak me out the most. <laughs> you go in there, spoons drive me nuts. What size am I getting? Mm. Are you... It, what shape? Too big? Too small? I don't know if these are going to be fit in the slot. I'm being 100% serious. Are you being real? This stuff like that drives me crazy. Oh, I love shopping for spoons. I, well, you're a spoon man. Yeah, I'm a spoon man. I'm the spoon, spoon man. man. 